Bye, stoners. Thanks for the drink. It's taking me forever to get home. I better speed it up. Well, I ain't got to drink on a Monday night. I ain't got to drink on a Tuesday night either. And I ain't got to... My community service would not be for a little hooch to get me in the mood. Goldie, one, six, nine, ah, glad I brought you along. Why are you so good to me? Why do I feel I know this couple? I don't know how you could, Annie. You've had amnesia and agoraphobia since you knocked at my door many, many years ago. Mother? Lisa White. Tracy, on how we can be together and not be brother and sister? No, Vernon, I have an idea how we can find out the truth if we are half brother and sister. Oh, you mean like have sex again, get you pregnant, and find out if our kid comes out messed up? I'm Southern, but I'm not that Southern. Well, that is an option. But, no, I mean no. We can have the Keystone Memorial Hospital conduct a DNA test. Hey there, Nurse Richards. Are there any flowers to be delivered this morning? No flower delivery today, but I have another delivery that's most critical to give to Mrs. Osterling. That's why it's so important to get this right. It's a dire emergency for Mrs. Osterling. I'm right on it. You can count on me. Nope, this way. Mother, 
I finally think I'm on the verge of a much-needed breakthrough with my memory. The only thing you need to remember is that you are home. To think the daughter I gave up at birth showed up at my door many, many years later. Yes, that is the last thing I remember. I washed up on shore and stumbled here. Oh, I never want to see that lake again. It took my memory away from me. It frightens me. That's why we keep the curtains closed and the blinds shut and keep you on your agoraphobia medication. Annie, you'll never have to step outside again. Lisa White, looking for Alex Sedgwick's hospital bed to plant yet another bomb under it? Oh, this story again. I didn't plant a bomb some time ago. Do I look like someone who knows how to build one in the first place? Really, if you believe that, Dr. Hannah Granger, you're as high as your over-medicated patients. Fortunately for Alec, Harlot Briggs was here and diffused it for me. No thanks to you. Fortunately for Alec, unfortunately for me, my bomb was supposed to get Alec out of Deirdre's life once and for all. Wait a minute. Why did Harlick help Hannah? What's their connection? Looks like I'm gonna have to go back up to Ottawa, the Castle Keep Penitentiary. <sighs> Trusting a criminal to do my dirty work is so difficult. Oh, get the hell out of my way. She has no idea. None of them do. Except Father Finnegan if he sees me. I guess I'd better get to Mrs. Osterling's room. The poor dear may be taken to God soon. Oh, so sad. That ought to help. Forgive me, Father. It's a tough job doing your work. I don't think I took care of everything the way Nurse Richards instructed me to. Oh well, they'll figure it out. Well, how was the hospital's best volunteer? Not to mention the prettiest. Oh, Percy Briggs, you old coot. Well, how about us? A smooch in the broom closet with your husband. Oh, you know we're on the clock. Besides, I have a bad coffee breath. Well, you owe me one when we get home. How about that? Ah, get out of here. Skit, skedaddle, skadoo. I can't bear stepping outside of this house. But ever since I've come home here, I've always felt like I need to be somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> Annie, no, oh, here are your pills. Annie, take your pills and we'll figure this all out. Here, take your pills and take a couple pills. I just feel like home somewhere else. You are home, Annie Lester, and it's here with Mother. And Mother Margie's going to take care of everything. In my father's will, he had organs donated and tissue samples stored in the lab. So, if you take my dendera DNA and compare it to your daddy's dendera DNA, and then we'll know if you and I are brother and sister? Yes! 
Tracy, you're a genius. I know. <laughs> Stop. Tracy, how do we get my DNA? Tracy, Vernon Kessel, what's wrong? We want a DNA test. We want Vernon's DNA compared to my father's. If what Amy is telling me is the truth, this could be trouble for everyone. Good thing I have Mr. Whiskey right here to get me through it. Mrs. Osterling just died. <laughs>